as the Chief Financial Officer at Receivable Exchange of India Limited, RXFL. Mr. Kailash Kumar Varudia. Can we offer him? Come on. Overseas Operations for the Trade Exchange, a collaborative affair between NSC and SIDBI. With six years at RXIL, he previously led business development and accounts at SBI Global Factors Limited for over 12 years, contributing to operations, system development and product innovations. With a career spanning of 20 years, that's, a, that's almost two decades, 20 years in the banking industries and 18 years of experience in the specifically in factoring services. Mr. Rodia holds accolades, yes, including the CFO India, CFO 100, 2022 Roll of Honor Award. Come on, he was also awarded as a Roll of Honor Award, so congratulations. A commerce gadget from Mumbai University, he's a chartered accountant and holds an MBA, CFA, ISA and CA. IAB qualification. So he's multi-talented. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for one and only one, Mr. Kailash Kumar Varodia. Come on, everyone. So thank you so much. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, good morning to everyone and congratulations to all the winners. And, and uh, again, there will be a few more awards in uh, ceremonies. I think uh, Anandji has already made uh, my, my job easy. You know, he explained about uh, the, the cap requirement of the capital and the role played by the debt. And when it comes to debt, uh, the, the interest which is basically eating our profit, correct? So, my name is Kailash Varudia. I am from RxL, Receivable Exchange of India. It's a trades platform, trade receivable discounting system. In simple word, it is an invoice financing or a bill discounting platform. Mr. Anand touched upon that what is the importance of the capital as far as the own money is concerned, correct? So you are infused capital, you are, you are starting the business and you are supplying, starting the goods. But what about the working capital? Yeah, what about the working capital to run the business? And whenever you are actually supplying to a bigger corporate or a large corporate and there is a credit period and your money gets stuck, so then how can you run your business? So trades is a solution for that. Uh, be before I go into trades, let me just give you some insight or some, uh, I'll say, figures with respect to MSME contribution in India. So India, uh, MSMEs are there as per 2015 and 16 records, 6.3 crore MSMEs. And now you are aware all our MSME entrepreneurs over here. In the Udyam also, now Udyam is compulsory for the MSME. We have almost 3.2 crore MSMEs registered in Udyam, correct? 30% contribution of the MSME comes to the GDP of India. And GDP of India is around 372 lakh crores, which is, so that means MSME contribution is more than 75 lakh crores, correct, in Indian economy. Indian economy is now marching towards 5 trillion dollars, correct, 2016. Everyone, this news is get flashed and MSME plays a very important role because 30% comes from the MSME, correct? But the biggest challenge the MSME is facing now is the fund access or the liquidity which supports their business. So micro starts and then their job, their aim is to go to small and small to medium and medium to large. So one of the issue or one of the challenge what MSME face is the funds, the working capital. One of the study in last year by Game and Dun and Bradshaw that the MSME, as, even though MSME there is an act that MSME sh should get payment within 45 days, correct? Everyone knows this, correct? MSME should get payment within 45 days. But you really get within 45 days? No, correct? So one of the study says that there is 10 lakh 70 thousand crore, 10 lakh 70 thousand crore. There is a delayed payment. This is a last year rep, uh, report by Dun and Bradshaw. There is a delayed payment of 10 lakh 70, and out of that, 85 percent pertain to MSME micro and small. Correct? And this micro and small, and uh, you are aware, you have more knowledge than me with respect to running your business. Correct? You normally have one month cash reserve to support your business. Correct? So what trades do? Trades basically you know, provide the liquidity against your receivables. So how trades come into the picture? So it is basically RBI initiative. 
RBI started this initiative around eight years back, and we are there in the operation from last six years. The whole concept of trades coming into picture, or why RBI started that, is to support the MSME, to avail or to make the finance available to the MSME against the receivable they supply to a to a corporate. So there are various schemes by government, you know, to, for a startup, for a capital. So many things are there, but there is no scheme by the government that the MSME get the receivable finance based on the strength of the buyer. So we take example, small example, you know. ABC supplies to say Mahindra's big buyer. They will make the payment on say say 45 days, exactly on time. But that 45 days, the MSME has to you know get the funds from their own, either from their own or from their bankers, correct? And it's not that get that easy to get the funds from the bankers when you don't have a proper collateral or a good collateral kind of thing, correct? So the whole object of the RBI is to bring the technology and the transparency and the convenience for the MSME to get the funds against their receivables. Based on the strength of the receivables, they get the funds. So how it works basically, in simple way, so we are trades exchange, okay? We are a platform, we are FinTech. Everyone uses Flipkart and Amazon, correct? Everyone uses Flipkart and Amazon? 10 years back, how many was aware about Flipkart and Amazon? One, correct? We used to go to shop, buy this, suppose I have to buy shoes, I go to shop. And whatever, you know, if it is better, they will give you 10%, 5% discount and you get the, uh, get the shoes. But now coming in the Flipkart and Amazon, it brings a marketplace. You know, there are many people who offers the discount, 30%, 20%, 25%. So you would get a better rate. Convenience, easy access and price discovery. Correct? That is the whole intention of trades. Correct? So let's example, ABC supplies to Mahindra and Mahindra. 45 days is a tenure, correct? ABC is registered on trades platform. Mahindra and Mahindra is also registered on trades platform. So and in any invoice financing scheme, you need buyer, seller and financer, correct? We already have some 60 odd financer. So ABC supplies to Mahindra and Mahindra, 40 days is a term, 45 days is a term, and the, the worth is say 10 lakh rupees. Now Mahindra is, Mahindra is going to pay after 45 days. Take example, say, 28th of, 10th of February, till that time ABC is go, not going to get the funds, correct? He has to manage from his own pocket. Simple, on the trades platform, he uploads that invoice, Mahindra Mahindra accepts it. Based on the acceptance of the Mahindra and Mahindra, there are 60 financer who is ready to take a business on the Mahindra and Mahindra. They will see Mahindra and Mahindra. They will not see your balance sheet, not your balance sheet, not your balance sheet. They will see Mahindra and Mahindra strength. They will put that interest rate for financing and they compete with each other. That's why it's a price discovery. Price discovery, convenience, you don't have to go to bank. You just upload the invoices from your mobile also. Financer bid for it, you see, okay, someone has quoted 9%, someone has quoted 8.5%, someone has quoted 8%, someone has quoted 7.5%, 7.5% is a good rate, you accept it. Next day, you get the funds in your account. And in, on 10th of February, if Mahindra Mahindra fails, it is between the bank and Mahindra and Mahindra, not you. That is called without recourse. So it's the access of funds, convenience, flexibility, and price discovery. The whole intention of marketplace or fintech is to price discovery. And that is the whole object of the government. The government objective is for the MSME sector, easy fund, digital way, price discovery and transparency. You can see that rates also, correct? So as Mr. Anand has said, how they support to the equity, the capital, we support the working capital requirement. We support to invoice financing based on the strength of the, the buyer, correct? And completely digital. So it's a win-win situation. And to just share with you, what are the benefits? See, in India, everyone will say, Ki mujhe kya milega? three players, buyer, seller and the financer. For sellers, huge benefit with this platform is specifically the MSME sellers. Easy money, no follow-up, lots of financer, no documentation, because whatever document you do, simple KYC, simple agreement with the exchange. So if you are getting finance from 10 financer, you don't have to execute a single document with any of the financer. You only do with trades, correct? 
non recourse that means if it the by defaults no none of the financer is going to come to you that means you got the money your receivable is free your balance sheet improves your profit improves price discovery correct i think most of you have taken some kind of loan either formal or informal correct at 10 plus and plus rate correct me if i'm wrong yeah you might be getting in 10% 12% 30% and if informal channels you might be getting at 20 24% correct you must have taken uh, for the for, for your business correct here based on the strength of the buyer you are getting the funds that means your 40 to 50% financing fi <coughs> financing charge got reduced on mahindra and that because it's double a triple a kind of thing you might get at 8% 7.5% so almost 40 to 30 percent financing costs get reduced to this platform. This will improve the EBITDA, which is the requirement of uh, of getting the capital, correct? For getting the equity. So for MSME, it is completely win-win situation, correct? But then buyer says, "Ki boss, mujhe kya mil raha hai? Why should I come?" For buyer also, because if they want to have extended terms, because बहुत बार ऐसा होता है. Buyer is good. You have 10, 10, 15 years of relationship, but उसका खुद का fund management में भी issue होता है, correct? So he delays. so buyer can also have extended credit period terms to this platform and because there is a competition you get a price discovery correct supplier ke sath uska relation acha hota hai because if you are a good supplier he wants to retain you but because you don't get a finance you retain you supply might be 1 crore 2 crore in a month but if you are a good supplier and you have a production capabilities you can supply 4 5 crore also if you are getting the finance correct so these are the benefit for the financer now for the bu uh, sorry buyer for the financer because to encourage this to come the financer to come more on the platform the government has announced that whatever financing they do on a trades platform it qualify for the priority sector lending benefit so any financer have a target to fund to a priority sector lending like agricultural msmes export so this qualify for the priority sector lending benefit so they got a very good rate over here second because they see this is a business opportunity take a example if saraswat bank wants to take exposure on mahindra and mahindra mahindra and mahindra will not enter in correct he might be with busy with state bank of india icici kind of thing but on this platform saraswat and uh, saraswat corporate bank can take a business on mahindra and mahindra because it's completely with recourse to mahindra and mahindra quality business he can cross sell his product and one of the biggest benefit for the financer is that he get a ready made business so 10 people 15 but the marketing people run for the for the Uh, for the business here is getting the ready made so it's a win win situation now to just share with you few i, I know that i have a uh, limited time okay to just share with you how much we are doing we have done in last 6 years we have done 2 lakh 30000 crore of financing on a trades platform 2 lakh 30000 crore of trades finance on the platform we have catered to more than 65000 msmes more than 3500 buyers and plus 63 financiers okay huge opportunity and actually to be very honest this platform actually picked up in covid when covid everything was on standstill correct everything was at our home correct this platform has really worked well you must have aware that how the covid how the financial crunch was there correct in last two years we have done 1.5 lakh crore of financing not one two years in 18 months every month we are doing 4000 crore of financing on a trades platform and this is really good helping for the msme sector 3.2 crore msme only 65000 is taking the benefit of it still we have not scratched the surface of it there is a huge opportunity so my request to all the msmes to create the awareness about about this trade trade receivable discounting uh, system invoice financing for the msme sector this is specially designed by rbi to help the msme many of the people are still not aware about the this receivable discounting system which will help to improve their ebitda to get their working capital requirement and to infuse the in liquidity into their business with this thank you all and again congratulations to all the winners thank you thanks to the india 5000 msme team uh for inviting us and you know to present what trades can change the whole ecosystem as far as the msme is concerned thank you once again 
and all the best